Well, hello and welcome back to Garden Ish. It is the last week of June and we are having beautiful weather today. We've had some really hot days over this last weekend and we're going to have a couple really hot days coming up before we're supposed to maybe get some rain. Um, I just wanted to bring you out to the garden, show you a couple upgrades that I did. There were, uh, I needed some trellising for my tomato plants and I put some shade cloth up. I've done a few things, odds and ends that needed to happen without the camera because it was so hot when I did some of these things that there was no way you would have survived out here with me. So I'm going to walk you through, show you what I did. And uh, if you guys have any comments or you have any questions about anything, make sure you put them in the comments and I would love to chat about this stuff. Uh, maybe get some ideas thrown out there by you guys for next year. Let's try something different. Or maybe my ideas can help you along the way as well. Um, and we'll just go through and do a quick little garden tour and see where we're at. All right? Okay, we're going to take it from the front here. You can see there has been a step in the process that needs to happen. We still don't have an entryway but the beams for my entryway are here. I've moved them so I can start working on digging some holes, putting in some concrete, and putting my screen door entryway in. But one thing I will show you along this front entrance is that I can now stop and smell the roses. Look at this pretty girl. She decided to open up. Then there's another bud on here. I don't know if you can see that one without me poking myself. So that's going to be coming up. That's exciting. Here's my sunflowers. I really wish these were taller by now, but they're not. Look at these poor dudes. <laughs> They've been having a little bit of a struggle, but they're still surviving, so I keep watering them. We're doing, we're doing all right on that. It's just taking their sweet old time getting somewhere. There's our hanging basket that finally decided to flower with the flowers that I do not know what they are anymore. But... You can see that they decided to open up and some of them are starting to die now, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Here's our peppers. These are the two peppers that I ended up buying separately because my Shoshitos were doing so bad. This guy right here, they're just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to, it's got some little critters eating on it. I'm going to say that they were probably brought out too early because I know they don't like the cold. And I should have planted these big ones closer because apparently peppers like to hold hands. But they're doing okay. We got, we got a bud getting ready to start here. So they're functioning and doing what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, let me go to this side so you don't have my shadow. So this, I believe, is a cantaloupe. These are both cantaloupe here. This was an original. They're just not growing so hot either. This was the second one. Get out of there, Andy. Um, this is the second one that I put in because the first one got ate up and died. I think actually the first one got hit with the frost. We had a real cold night one night, and I think the frost got it and knocked it out. So and then that's a squash over there. It's got some little flowers going, so we'll see. I don't know. This palette's not doing the best, but it's still surviving, so we're just going to play it by ear, see how it goes. All right, this one's exciting. So here's one of those tomato plants that I put in, and look what we've got coming out. We're going to be ready for some maters soon, these little cherry tomatoes. I can't pick it yet, though. I, I'm feeling the squish. It's not quite ripe. I'm going to give it another day or so before my kiddo gets here and we can share it together. We already pulled the yellow one off. It wasn't right, but we did it together and she was excited. So I got to, I got to wait for her and, and uh, get her, get her in on this action because she enjoys it. She enjoys the fresh garden goodies. All right. Here's our uh, weedy potato batch, but guess what? We have potatoes in here. We've got plants growing. They're still growing strong. I need to put some more straw in here because we've got a couple more down here. And we should have some growing down at that other end. So I'm going to straw this tonight. Um, it'll look different next video you guys see. This is one of my hanging baskets that have some flowers. Um, I think they were just a random wildflower. 
pack it and we finally have some buds that are growing on these that took these guys they've been bushy for a while so i'm glad to see that they are finally turning into something productive i wish it would have been sooner but it is what it is and i'll know for next year to plant them early so let's get over here to our shade cloth area this is my makeshift right shade cloth it works all i did was take these stakes where they five foot stakes i think put them in the ground with a mallet and then i've zip tied my cheap shade cloth material to it it works um these guys these guys were getting a little too hot and sun drenched throughout the day when we were having that hot stretch there for a while so we've got some really good tomatoes coming up on here look at this thing you know, there we got some little ones. I don't even know what they all are anymore. I'm going to have to look back and, and let you guys know. But we have some good tomatoes. There's a couple stunted looking plants inside here. I thought about taking them out and putting some, you know, succession um, cucumbers to grow up the trellis or even some more beans because I've got beans on the other side. thought, well, I could put something else on that side if those tomatoes don't keep going. Uh, we've got this. Here is what I did in the middle of the hot weather. Let me get out of my, my shadow here. So I took the stakes and I strung twine all the way from stake to stake. And I am just holding up tomato plants this way. So if you look, I'm just weaving the tomato plants through there. I was originally going to do something over the top um, and then hang strings down. I just, I didn't have the material for that and I wasn't quite sure. I was having a hard time figuring out how to do it just because I've got these pallets. I was gonna have to attach the pole to the pallet. So this way I was just able to go straight to the ground. I got all of the twine, you know, back and forth and I can tighten them up as I need to. And everything is pretty much up like this guy right here this little guy so this is one of those late late planted ones one of the stragglers that was a uh, uh growing really well that i we ended up doing that video with the minnows that i planted with them it's doing awesome but it's not quite at the height yet sorry for traffic um eventually what i'll do is i'll put another string um from this pole here over to that pole there and that'll help keep this guy supported so I'll do that later as it gets taller so when I was putting these up I should have started this trellis system sooner but I'm I'm always late to the party I'm always a late Larry when it comes to this stuff like this guy right here this guy needs to be brought up I'll do that later though I don't want to do it one-handed they're very fragile and when you start weaving them in and out of here if they've gotten too big you have to be really careful because their stems are break breakable they, they break pretty easy um I, I had some wind issues yesterday that's why i came out and did all of this and in that time period that i was out here i had two stems break and i actually lost two grown tomatoes so that was a bummer and when that happens that's just such a bummer because you know you take all this effort to do these things and it can be it can be a, a disheartening situation so but this keeps me going look at this we've got good sized tomatoes out here i'm looking forward to this i'm looking forward to trying the different varieties because i was very rambunctious this year and put a handful of different ones in so yeah we don't have any blushing yet we don't have any colors but they're they're going to be getting there i bet you in the next couple few weeks these babies are going to get rolling and I'm going to have so many, I'm not going to know what to do with them. So I'll be handing out tomatoes left and right. Let's come over to our zucchini palette. Here's our beans. These guys are doing really well on this trellis that I made on a whim. Oh, we need to pull this guy up here though. I don't want you attaching to weeds. I want you attaching to my trellis. There you go. Um, and this guy he's kind of wandering out there too we need to get him tied up there there you go there you go mr cucumbers i don't know if we have any actual cuc i think we do 
I thought I had some cucumbers on here. There, there they are. Where are they at? There. There's a little cucumber guy. Girl thing. The whatever. Anyway, they're growing. They're doing good. Um, I had a, uh, one of those little blue-tailed lizards out here, so hopefully he hasn't eaten too much. It doesn't look like it. I pulled off one zucchini so far. Um, anyway, back to these beans. Sorry, squirrel moment. These beans, I'm going to have to make this, this trellis top go a little taller. I'm thinking about taking it and curving it over. To my archway since I didn't plant my garden right this year and nothing's growing up over my archway. Um, it's fun to walk under but there's no there's no plants so that's okay though. There's always next year. That's the part you learn every year something different and this is why I'm doing these videos so I can take notes and remember for next year. But I've got more zucchini growing. We've got some summer squash in here. There's no guy. Uh, so far, knock on wood, no end blossom rot has been occurring. Oh, but I've got squash bugs. This is the first time I've seen these out here. Oh, no. That's no good. See that little patch right there? I don't know if it's going to... I don't know if it's going to focus for you. It's a bunch of little balls. I'm going to have to get rid of those. Yep. That's the first time I've seen those. Ah, uh, what a bummer. Because those will attack. And once they attack, oh, you're pretty much done. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. We've got the cucumbers are going good. Squash plants. I'm going to attack those um, little baby bugs and get those out of here. And I'll let you know what a, kind of a remedy would be for those. I don't know. I think last year, I think people talk about diatomaceous earth. And there's also, um, I think you can do a peroxide mixture. Helps out with stuff like that. I'll double check. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know what, what's recommended in different, different varieties. Oh, look at these marigolds. How pretty these are becoming. They, they just popped out of nowhere. I had a bunch more pop out. And look at that. They're so pretty. So pretty. Oh, and the violets. The, I'm sorry, the dianthus, ideal select violet. That's what's out front in the green stalk. Those are pretty too. I deadhead those so they keep on, keep on growing. And then this is the silver dust that's out in the green stalk too. Anyway, everything looks really good. Everything looks good except for those squash bugs. We're going to have to squash the squash bugs. Oh, look, we have a visitor. Hi, Dudu. We got Garden Kitty coming. Hi, Dookie. How you doing, bud? Hey, fat cat. You want to come hang out with me? Hey, buddy. Hi. How are you? Hi, sweepy. Hi. Let me see you. So does everybody. They say hi to Dookie. You say hi to people. Say hi, YouTube people. I just wanted to show you we have two garden kitties today. Witty kitty. Hi, bud. What's up, dude? Hello. How is my baby? Little baby kitty. I know. You're just a weirdo. Hi, Dookie. And there he goes. They love each other. Garden kitties. All right, guys. I started going through my squash palette. And if you'll see, 
this leaf, I picked it off because it was just so much. If you can, I don't know if you can see this very well with the focus or not. This leaf has a lot of light spots on it. And that is my indicator that I've got these little babies and the little bugs crawling all over it. And it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. I'm pretty sure these are squash bugs, not aphids. I don't know if aphids are the same. I'm going to have to look that up. But you can see all these little dark, like, I guess those are the eggs. And then here, let me set it down here. Maybe if I don't move so much. Ooh, let me get them off my fingers. Oh, no. I'm hoping you can see them, maybe zooming in. No, it's not going to work. I have a crappy camera. Anyway, there are a bunch of little bitty babies in like, it, there are a bunch of little eggs it looks like. And then they, they hatch or whatever and they turn into these little crawly bugs. And they're just so gross. So I'm going to take this leaf and I am going to fling it over there and get it out of here. Hey garden kitties. Anyway, I'm going to go do the rest of those squash. I found one other leaf that had a bunch on there, so I'm just, if they're too bad, I'm going to snip the leaves if it's not too, you know, too, too harsh of a situation, but anyway, we'll see what's going on. Okay, that's all. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for being here with me and enjoying my garden probably almost as much as I enjoy it, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, a wonderful evening. Whenever you're watching this, be safe. And one last thing, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe to my page so we can keep these going. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them, put them down and let's talk and let's talk garden stuff. All right. Thank you, everybody.